on the next episode of Keeping It Real Kitchen. This is Majestic Gent and Tomato up way past her bedtime. And we're making pineapple cake. Um, so it's going to be this yellow cake mix, half dozen eggs, two sticks of butter, and pineapple. And um, some water. And water pineapple. A couple of, oh yeah. The pineapple. Crushed pineapple in the can. And cool whip. So we're going to use some crushed pineapple and we're going to use some cool whip. Cool whip. And this cake wants you to use a cup of water, a third cup of butter, and three eggs. Yep. Make sure the butter is softened. And uh, that's what I'm going to make today. All right. Well, tonight, way past my bedtime. All right, so this rest, this uh, cake mix calls for greased sides of the uh, bottom of the pan. I don't have anything to grease, to spread the grease around with. So I'm just going to use a paper towel to uh, spread it around. So it says to put all this, a cup of water, cake mix, butter, and eggs in a large bowl with mixer on medium speed. Pour into pan. Three hundred fifty degrees for I don't know how many minutes the box said. Oh. All right, so here's the box cake, and there are a couple of ways to tell if it's done that I do. One way, if I don't think it's done, I'll just kind of take a clean hand and press it. You can kind of tell if it's a little firm or not. If it's not firm, it's definitely not done. Another way I do it is, of course, I take a toothpick or a fork or a butter knife or anything and just stick it in the middle. And if something comes out on there, that means it's not done. And these cakes are done. It came out clean. So, those are done. Now they just need to... Cool off. Well, all right, so this is the Cool Whip here, and it's got some um, crushed pineapple in it, like I was showing uh, this crushed pineapple. Um, the first crushed pineapple, I put a can in there with the juice drained out of it, and in this one, I have some of the juice drained out of it. Like probably half of it. That's the second can. Let's mix it on in there. And I'll pour some of the juice in there. From the third can. Alright, and that is the cool whip. Alright, so this is the cake that is done and cooled off. As you can see, it's not sticking at all to the pan. So um, I'm just making sure it's not sticking to the pan. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to make it right in this pan. Um, so I'm just going to 
poke some holes in it. And <laughs> you can I, usually, whenever I make this cake, which is just once a year, um, I would use a fork or whatever. But this time I'm using this knife because it's just uh, accessible. And what I do is I take some of the um, pineapple juice. I take some of the pineapple juice from the can. So I take some of this juice and I pour it on the cake there. Just like that. And then I will just take this same spoon and spoon some of the pineapple on the cake. It's good if the pineapple is chilled. I just put the cans in the refrigerator. Alright, and I take this pineapple cool wet mix. And throw it on there. Just like that. And put another layer of pineapple on here. And get it drained. Doesn't have to be pretty. So the way that I have a story, the way this cake came about, right? And I was um, young. I would say probably just a little girl, just growing up. I would say growing up, um, growing up. My grandma used to make this cake, <laughs> and she called it a pineapple upside down cake. So. I went through life thinking this was a pineapple upside down cake until I had a pineapple upside down cake and someone said oh yeah this is a pineapple upside down cake it's on the menu and I saw it I said you know that's not a pineapple upside down cake that's what I thought to myself but then I realized this right here is not a pineapple upside down cake <laughs> so not even. not even so I just said you know what I'm making a pineapple cake pineapple cake right and um, it can turn out like this I'm a little low on these on these um, crushed pineapples so and that is the finished product um, you can make it a double layer well sometimes I make it a double layer but this year, I'm making a single layer cake. <laughs> um, that's it. That is really, really simple. It's a box cake. Um, I like to sometimes add flavor to the box cake, like a little bit of vanilla flavor. Um, but I did it this year. And that is what I call pineapple cake. And my grandma calls pineapple upside down cake. I think she called it pineapple upside down cake because <laughs> I don't know she flipped the cake or something I'm not sure but I loved it I loved it so much and um, that's it you have to let them sit yeah you have to let them sit in the refrigerator mm -hmm. um, this cool whip will firm up a little bit yep. in the refrigerator and that's that yeah See you next episode.